Question 16, use the figure below to select all the true statements. So I'm going to do what we did last time. I'm going to pick a reference angle. So these are Greek letters. This is alpha, and that's beta. So let's start with alpha and find sine of alpha, cosine of alpha, tangent of alpha, because those are all down here. And we just have to pick, and then we'll find sine of beta, cosine of beta, I'm going to rewrite that. I'm just going to do the parentheses first, and then I change to beta. And then tangent of beta. Okay. So remember SOHCAHTOA, that helps us determine the ratios. And then let's label our sides. So across from the right angle, that's always going to be our hypotenuse. Across from our reference angle is going to be the opposite. And then the remaining side next to that is going to be the adjacent. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So 5 over square root of 41. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And then remember those switch spots when you change the reference angle. So that's 4 over square root of 41 and 5 over square root of 41. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 5 over 4. And then the reciprocal happens when you switch reference angles. So now we just have to match what works. So tangent of beta is 4 over 5. Tangent of alpha is 5 over 4, that's right. Sine of alpha. 5 over square root of 41. Sine of alpha, nope, we just did that one. Cosine of alpha is 4 over square root of 41. And then cosine of beta, no. So actually on this one, it was all the alphas that were correct and none of the betas. But you still need to find them just to make sure.